Okay, the final recording for the night, video cast for the night, is going to be the 10 year treasury bond, or the 10 year treasury yield, also commonly known as the TNX. Let's look at this for a minute. This is the daily. I believe I've shown this chart video cast before, but I want you people to, uh, my members, subscribers, to understand the correlation between this and the market. The 10 year government yield is basically the primary determinant interest. Um, uh, fixed income paper that determines mortgage bond, uh, mortgage interest rates and other commercial and business interest rates that we use all the time okay it's a very important one here when we look at this pattern just at a glance this is a in this is basically head and shoulder a head left shoulder right shoulder failed coming down it has very strong support here at the 2.47 uh, level touched it and bounced over the last couple of days co coincided with the market bottoming on Thursday on uh, May 15 it also did the same thing back in um, October 2013 did the same thing again October 2013 um, so and then oh and out here July 2013 multiple times back in July 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 okay held this level so this is a very strong support out here below that uh, we have a gap to fill here if you notice and that gap is uh, 2.36 okay to, to move the one decimal one over on the left so 2.36 um, which is uh, would be the gap to fill all right so here we are with a two and a half uh, 2.47 percent uh, government treasury support if this falls below money is basically flight to safety the markets are, are going to have a mini crash uh, and we are going to come down and rest at 2.35 percent look at the flip side of it what's po so positive about the treasury yield coming down well it brings interest rates down you know it brings mortgage rates down I mean the housing markets a little bit of in the doldrums so you will have uh, um, refinancing you will have mortgage rates lower mortgage rates attract new buyers um, hopefully banks will ease the lending standards a bit and you will see a slew of um, uh, the mortgage financing index is going to go up quite rapidly uh, which is great for the housing market um, so aside from that a low uh, treasury yield connotates we're going into recession I don't believe that you know that doesn't make any sense at this point um, which numbers have been in fact factory orders and other economic indicators all been reasonably strong I covered that in the last video cast so I will not repeat myself so here we are with the 10-year bond and we are holding 2.47 if we break below that the markets gonna pull back hard uh, the flight to safety money coming into the Treasury market um, otherwise it will stay around here and bounce and go up to about two point right here see this point downtrend line this uptrend line coincide um, meet at uh, 2.68 percent or 2.7 percent so that's where I see it going uh, it's in a trading band and the trading band as I showed the other day is uh, 3 and the low end is uh, 2.5 so it seems to be a pattern it's following it's a very important key indicator keep an eye on it and um, it does it's it's a tail that uh, you know that wags the it's a whatever you call it the the tail that controls equities okay so that's it that's it for now I think I covered quite a few things here tonight and of course as you know I, f I put in a lot of I filter and analyze and put in simple terms a lot of detailed information on my uh, real-time feed and I encourage you to bring in friends colleagues and other traders who want to benefit from it I'll continue to do my best um, both on the long and short side I am still biased on the bullish side despite feeling that we might be in you know um, on the verge of a nice fat correction will we have yet to see the sentiment is still majority bearish as I keep on repeating um, bulls are scared bears are you know just frustrated uh, and the market just you know sings its own tune so good night and we'll see you tomorrow